somebody said he wants to ask a question about copy trading, can you just um, unmute yourself? And let's see. Good evening, Dana. Good evening. All right. So I I was I yanked for your video on um, copy trading on YouTube. So I was actually following that closely. Thank you, sir. But I got to, I, I have actually um, transferred um, some USDT to my teacher's account. But there are two things I don't really understand here. Number one is that how, I mean, how does it really work? Is there anything I have to do after I've followed, um, uh, after I've actually followed um, a trader? Is it as an how do I place the order? Or is it that any time the trader places his order, automatically my order will be live? Yes. That's one, that's one question I have. The number two is that um, when I, um, okay, I'm just trying to check the partner. Okay, now when I go to um, that copy trader, I think that's my own, my own trade. I'm actually following this one, one. And I went to my copy trades. You know, it's just actually um, the side wall. Capital. Capital, then, you know, it's, uh, there's USDT in bracket. And right now, I'm actually seeing zero. Meanwhile, I've actually, um, I have transferred some USDT to my features account. So I, I don't really understand. I don't really understand that. Can you, when can I went back, can you share your screen, please? Let me walk you through that. Go ahead and share your screen. Let me walk you through that. Can you see my screen now? Open the by bit, yes. Okay, can you see it now? Um can you scroll up? You scroll up, scroll up, yes. Up as in go up. Yeah, up click on my copy trigger, my copy trace or so. Let me see, okay. click on my trader. Let me see the trader you're following. My, okay. Okay, the trader you are copying, you have not, um, after, can you click on edit? Let me see the settings you have there. Now, um, please just um, do me a favor by muting yourself if you are not speaking. Now, these features where you see all of this BTC, BTC USD, BTC Ethereum and the rest, you don't need all these features. You understand? Except you have the force to copy all of this. Now, what you have on your account is USDT, but you are selecting BTC USD. USD means that you need to have US dollars in your account. Uh -huh. So if you are selecting any of these, make sure it is either USDT, Ethereum USDT, BTC USD, and leave the USD out of it. So now that it's only BTC USDT, it means that whenever the person trades BTC USDT, automatically you'll be copying that person from your end. And where it says profit ratio, whatever the profit the person makes for you, the person takes 8% of that for copying that trader. So here, the amount you've put here, the minimum amount this trader can actually work with is between $1 to 20 USDT, which is what you have added here. If you scroll down, let me see the maximum actually. What is the maximum? The maximum is equal to 20 USDT. So the trader can be trading on your account between 20 to 20 USDT. So it is between one to 20 USDT, you cannot exceed that. That is the first thing, click on save. Go ahead and confirm that. Okay. Now go go back, use the arrow at the top, go back um, to the exchange, go back one step again. Then just can you click on this um, home? Um, click on features, I'm sorry, features in the middle, in the middle of your screen, features. Now, the next thing you need to do is actually setting your leverage, which you have your BTC USDT is set at isolated and it is 10x whether to short or to long the market. And right now the available um, money you have here is 69 USDT. You are good to go. So you don't need any other thing again. In as much as you have money in your, um, your um, features account, whenever that trader plays a trade, automatically the trade will be copied on your account. Oh. 
Okay. Yes, whenever the trader carries out a trade, automatically that trade will be copied for, on your on your own end. That is what it means. But right now, since it's only one trader you are copying, maybe in the next two, three days, the trader may not enter the market. So you need to go back to the copy trade and copy another, copy at least three traders. You understand? Okay. Mm, so they will be working, those three traders or whatever numbers of traders you have will only be working with the amount of the funds you have on your account. They can't exceed this. Once a particular trader exceed, finishes the amount on your account, no other trader will. That, that, when that time comes, you'll be seeing notification that copy trade failed, either because of insufficient balance or limit and the rest. So just go ahead, click on the copy trade and copy another trader. Thank you. Click on it. Just do it now so that um, if any other person here has a similar question, um, click on it. So what you want to do is um, all these persons are filled up. Look for the win rate. Um, hold on. That person that says copy. Now, when you see copy yet, you see the followers. This person has made room for 150 persons to be able to follow his trade, his or her trade. But right now, it is only 63 that are following him. So, one thing you want to look at here is this is the accumulated result for the past three weeks. And um, this, please scroll down. This uh, the result is not too, not too attractive. Nice. How do we know the results that is attractive? Yeah, the number, the higher the percentage, the higher the number of um, accumulated results and the rest, the more the money, the better that trader. Normally, this result you are seeing here are the past three weeks result. So that person has carried out a lot of trade for the past three weeks, and the person is having win rate of, you know, 70 to 100 uh, percent. And that means okay. that the trader is actually doing very well. If you are copying a trader, normally I look at between 90, um, 80 and 90 percent. Anything less than that, I don't copy the trader. That is okay. the person's win rate. So somebody that has like 3, 360 dot, dot, um, dot 83, 82, that's good. Three sixty for the past three weeks. Okay, can you click on this particular trader, this mass man? Mass man, yeah. Okay, total um, transaction 30. Followers 48. Hold on, trade orders, account activity. Quality return is about to receive gain losses. Uh, this trader, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down, let me see. That's all. That's all. Uh, can you click on those copiers? Let me see if they, there is an ongoing trade or so. Okay, the copy trade. Where is it? Copiers. Copiers. Okay, yeah. Okay, these are the people who are copying. Okay. Trader. Okay. Yeah. There is this particular trader that has actually been making me. Let me look for his name. Let's see whether there is space. For that trader, that trader is. Uh, you said you mentioned something about law of nature. Yes, that trader has been making a lot of um, profit actually. Following him. Yeah. Okay. I'm no longer following the trader. Sorry, let me open up my, I think I have that on my screen here. Copy trade. Use the search op option there to search for this particular trader. Okay, the trader is, is uh, using his Gmail account, Golden Gate. Golden Gate Bridge. Can you search for this Golden Gate Bridge? Um, this other trader is this other trader. 
Batman. That man is good too. Who? Batman B A K M A. I don't know if he's still having space. Okay, uh, uh, you can actually search. If he doesn't have space, you you follow the person, okay, and um, just uncheck. Can I leave it? I, I figure out my, I yes, it. yeah, you can, you can. This other one is Bitcoin Cash, so if you want to copy Bitcoin Cash, you can leave it there. You don't have enough funds in your account. You only have 69. I would prefer you ch uh, change that to 10. This is your, um, yes, change it. Let it be between 10 and 20, actually. The, uh, the minimum should be 10. The maximum should be 20. 20 mm -hmm. years, it, because you only have 69 on your account so that the trader can open more than one trade and the rest. So the, let the minimum amount here be 20. They have 10, sorry. Then you go ahead and follow. You can search for the next trader that Tony is mentioning, the Batman. And equally follow. B A K M A. Just check. That's the one. I'm one of. Sorry, please. Yep. Yeah. Please B A. B A K M A or so. Okay. Mm. Guys, so you just follow, maybe they will notify you. It's not a reminder, yes. Two. When when there is space, you will be notified. You see, those who are good, even if they are made room for um 50, 200 persons, they will you see that before you know it, and the person's uh, trading room is filled up and the rest. So whenever there is a, a space, you'll be reminded. So you just Come in here and start copying the trader. So, and the last, they copy this trader. Go ahead and search. I don't know. The Gmail is not showing complete actually. Can you search for XUZ? Um, XUZ. Can you search for XUZ? Yes, that is. Hey, maybe, maybe uh, important person. Right? Uh -huh, that is the trader, yes. That is the trader. So a copy that trader is equally good. Okay. Um, and then um, another thing I need to say here, for those of you who are using BitGet, please don't go and copy a trader and go to sleep. These traders are trading with higher amount of money, with higher um leverages they are trading with 50 years 100 years and because you have set your own parameters doesn't mean that you go and sleep remember because they are trading with a higher amount they can leave their trade to runs for days and because you are following them with a little amount if the trade continues to go they may be having minus 200 percent in their own account but your own minus 10 percent can even ruin everything because you have a little amount so always monitor it. When you make $1, close the trade. The trader will always open another trade. When you make 50 cents, when you make, just be monitoring it. Once it is, in, it is in profit, close the trade. It is better you make it small, small than you wait for the particular trade to enter up to $100 or thereabout. If you wait for that, since you don't have enough funds on your account, you may end up losing everything. So That's always what call monitor. Liquidation. Exactly. Always monitor the trade because the trader's trade may last exactly. for one month. Your own may not last for one month. So whenever you're in a little profit, close it and wait for the trader to carry out another trade. And automatically, the actions will be replicated on your own account. And I think I that is it. I've posted the, the WhatsApp, the number to contact me on WhatsApp. I posted it on the chat. So the Telegram group, you say the link is blank. I don't know why the link is blank. Chat me up on... Send me your yeah. Telegram username on, on WhatsApp. Please send me your Telegram username on WhatsApp. I'll add you up to the Telegram um, um, platform. All right. So if there is no question, yeah, uh, please send me. If you don't join, if you are not able to join, just send me a message. <laughs> Send me a message on, on, on WhatsApp, uh, your username on WhatsApp, and I'll add you up to the Telegram group, please. Any, any other question?
All right. If you don't have any question, go ahead, sign up for Bybit or Binance or Wobi. Go ahead and try out this, um, this few things that I've showed you. Go and see how you can actually um, start making money with these few strategies that I've showed you. And uh, this is just one strategy. There are a lot of them. There are a lot of strategies out there you can actually follow. Some of these indicators can work well for you. Some, all you just need is, you know, study a particular strategy, master it, test run them, and then it can, you can use it to be scalping the market. You can equally use this to run and um, trade the market for a long term. For instance, if I go to the one hour or the four hours time frame, right now, the, this is actually still trading below this channel. It means that for, for me to go enter a long market, this actually needs to cross above this. And when it crosses above this, um, there's every tendency that it will go up to either 50, 50 something or thereabout and so on. When it gets to that, we're making a lot of profit. You can use the daily time frame as well. But what I'm focused on is making this $2, $3 every day. That is my interest, which is why I, use, I normally use the five minutes time frame. If the, the trade goes into $10, this all depends on the amount of money you're actually risking, actually. Um, right now, if I'm risking one, 1,000 to make $50 in the market, that means if I have um, $10,000 in my account, just like the calculation I did right now, you can be risking 460. And in this trade, this trade that plays out now, you would have made $1,000 like play, like play in the market. So that is one thing I love about futures trading. Though it is risky, I am saying yeah, this is not in any way financial advice. It is risky. Once you are ready to risk your money, just take the chance and you'll be good to go. Yeah, the strategies in the courses, um, where is that course? I posted that course on this group actually, let me see. Actually, it is not all the strategy that, that are, but it, there are a lot of strategies that are actually posted on that, the, the course. The course in general actually help you understand. These things you are looking at right now will be for a limited time, actually. I can't copy this. So what you can be expecting to get from this course, when you come in here to the curriculum, you will see what the introduction to Bitcoin copy trading and the rest. Then understanding charts and technical analysis, which is what, what I just showed you now is, this is about chart and technical analysis. So understanding this, it means that you need to know what technical analysis is, what market circles is, what candlesticks are, how to spot, you know, support and resistance, how to draw trend lines, multiple time frame analysis, volume profile indicator, exponential moving average, which is one major um, indicator that you must know how to use, which is every trader uses this actually. How to use the relative, the RSI, this is another indicator, good indicator that you need to know how to use. You know, how to use the MACD. These are all, of, some of the majority of the indicators that you, you can think of are all covered in this course. And these are all trainings from experts who have been trading in this uh, space, so they know what they are going to teach you, and you are sure of getting all of those. So any other new strategy that comes up, we let it know to you, and you can take advantage of that as well.